Tell them I'm at the Gander Aviation Museum. And, uh, just eating my supper. Mmm. So this is a, this is quite the beast. Water bomber. But I was checking out all the engineering. Pretty cool here. Even the wingtip pontoons, as you can see, folded up. It became a wingtip in flight. And here's one of the uh, portable starter units. It's, uh, yeah, it's a water bomber. You can see, uh, so boat that just lands in the water. And then that door there opens up. And there's the air vent to let the air out. Uh, yeah, quite the machine. I have no idea what kind of aircraft it is, but having fun looking it over. And check it out, it's got a lot of, built out of a lot of aluminum and canvas. There's actually a hole in the wing over here still from, from the canvas. actually see right inside into the uh, the, uh, the wing trusses and everything. It would appear they're renovating. <laughs> and one of the old retired voodoos. I arrived in New West Valley just in time to catch a dramatic sunset. I then gave four talks in three days on the last night, which unfortunately we didn't record, was a packed house full of children and parents. I then had almost two weeks to just explore and continue my research on the Play Nation surface of the East Coast. I apologize for not keeping up on my video letters often enough. Uh, I didn't realize how much until I started piecing together all my video clips. So I'm here in where am I? New West Valley. New New West Valley. New West Valley. Uh, this is the problem of being on the road. You forget where you are. Uh, I'm in New West Valley uh, here with Pastor Nathaniel. You might remember him from Pasadena. Pastor Nathaniel was the one that put me on to the plained mountaintops, the Table Mountains, which led, of course, to a major research project. And so he also put me on to, uh, we're heading to a town with a fault. He says it's not his fault, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's town of Dover, Newfoundland. And uh, it turns out this might be pretty significant as well. I didn't realize until he said, hey, you should go check this out. And so we're heading over there now. This fault connects with the uh, cross, the uh, cross fracture zones on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. One of the major fracture zones called the Curtis Gibbs uh, fracture. So we're going to go check that out and see what we see. I'm guessing you can't hear a word I'm saying, but I'm going to try anyway. Gale force winds out here. It is freezing cold and everything's closed for the winter. The interpretation center is closed. The plaque, the interpreter plaques up top are missing and I'm clueless as to where we're going and what we're doing. I couldn't find much info on the internet either. So Oh, well, I guess we're going back to the car and heading to the fish plant. So I'm off to... Well, I'm going to head up to Labrador. I'm going to continue my research up there on the planation surface. But I've got basically nine days off now. So we had we had a full house last night. We had about 45 kids and 25 adults show up. And it's not a big town. So it was a lot of people. And we had a lot of fun. Uh, so while I was out, uh, I guess it was yesterday with Nathaniel, um, as we were driving by, I saw about 20 kilometers out in the ocean, an iceberg. And I, I'd forgotten this is iceberg season, and I've never gotten to see an iceberg before. So I'm on my way up now to Twillingate to go check out some of the icebergs. And as I'm on my way up there, check it out. Mini icebergs. There's uh, one there, a couple there. Boy, they're moving too. And there's another one there. There's uh, some over there. Oh, it's not we got. There's another one. So chunks of mini icebergs. So I'm gonna head up to Twillingate and see what see what I can see up there because I saw some pretty big ones. 
Okay, it's still a couple K outs. It's gonna be. Oh, okay, it's zooming in better than I thought it would. It's a pretty nice one. There's a couple of really big ones. Let's see, focus, focus. There they are. Wow. They were really, really big ones. They're probably about 8K out or so. There I'm at Twilling Gate. Sure is pretty. But uh, the only icebergs in sight I see are the ones I passed by already. Boy, I sure hate to fall down them stairs. If I do, I'll try and catch it on film. Hopefully if I fall down, you stop at the railing at the bottom. Otherwise, keep going down into the creek. 800 feet of waterfall. This is the Rattling Brook Waterfalls. Well, I'm not going to have to go on the stair climber today after the climb up here. I'll give you an idea. And the rest is a nice pretty trail. But still, it's a lot of stairs. So I've been here for a while. Pretty little spot just off the highway, just sitting here having my lunch. It's a little buggy because I'm right next to a swamp. It's got a nice, you know, pretty nice view here. And I'm standing here looking here, and when I look over here, oh no, look. There's a moose in the swamp right there. Let's see if I can get my camera here. Welcome to Newfoundland. Well, one thing I've learned in life is that when you have a disaster, make sure you get it on film. Well, yeah, came around the corner, moose ran right out in front of me. It was like, and what do you do? You turn one way and they run in front of you. And, but. Oh well, I was even keeping my eye open for him and it just didn't help any. So I'm going to crawl my way back to Rocky Harbor and I'm going to be picking glass out of here for the next month. And out of my hair. Oh well, at least there's a records in Rocky Harbor. I'm about 35 kilometers out of Rocky Harbor. Big cow moose. Uh, I have to go and get someone from the park, but apparently they're never in a hurry to do anything about it. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually glass dust on the lens of the camera. I'm going to have to very carefully wipe it off, but anyway, so I'll be picking glass out of the place everywhere for the next year. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> some of the wardens found the moose and apparently killed it, and you can see the, the dent on the roof. I'm going to have to do some creative body work here. So, I'm in Corner Brook right now, and uh, looks like they're going to get this fixed today, actually. Yeah, I gotta say, it could be a lot worse real quick, like, because, uh, boy, you can die doing this real quick. But, uh, I'll have to do some creative body work on the uh, hood. The hood was all bent up already anyway from a previous mishap before I even owned the vehicle bent in the fender a little bit and uh, my extended mirror for the trailer actually it, it got knocked off and everything flew apart but it's it's I can just put it snap it back together and so I feel really bad for the moose morning so uh, Pastor Moss's brother and his wife, uh, Wade and Ruby, very kindly put up with me for the night, or put me up for the night, and uh, 
Wade brought me over to his dad's place and I'm uh, picking glass out of every corner, nook and crevice in the whole van. Fun, fun. And uh, my van has never been this clean since I've owned it. And I've discovered a few things. For example, the ashtray, which has never been this clean before. I cleaned it at the bottom, look at this. It's got a no cigarette symbol in the ashtray. That's right, you're not supposed to use this ashtray for cigarettes. Which is really ironic because I've never used it for that anyway, but um, go figure. So, okay, I'm hoping to head up to Labrador today. Uh, let's see if I can get you a shot of the van here. Uh, I had it back by one o'clock yesterday. Grants Bank a new windshield, popped up the roof a little more. And, uh, the hood's a little more crumpled than it was, but it was already crumpled, so it didn't really make much difference. And the fender got bent a little bit, but strictly cosmetic, uh, nothing else. I mean, it fared pretty good, actually. And uh, boy, let me tell you, starting to clean the glass out of there gives you an idea of just how big the impact was. I really think the Lord was watching out for me here because I mean, uh, well, even here, right here, you can see where, um, I hope you're seeing that, I can't tell if the camera sees it or not, but you can even see where even the rubber on the uh, steering wheel was cut up by the glass from the windshield that uh, you know, sort of came back. But, uh, but I literally did not even get a scratch from anything. In fact, the only cut I got right there was done when I was trying to clean off the dashboard so we get the window out. That was it. So, well, thank you, Lord. Wow, that's a nice model. Showing quite nicely the combination uh, surface of Paul. Hello. Hello. How are you today?